hello and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to create this realistic presentation plan using revit and a little bit of photoshop if you have been following this channel you'll notice i've created a video on how to create presentation plans in revit and also how to create presentation plans using photoshop so this is like a mix of both and this is just for you to be easily able to create realistic presentation plans and it's going to be much faster than using photoshop okay so if you haven't done so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new videos because we do that on a weekly basis without any further ado let's jump right into the main content of this video okay so firstly we are currently going to export the floor plan at hidden lines so currently this is set at hidden lines and we are going to be exporting it but before we export it we are going to make sure some graphic stuff is okay all right so firstly i want to change this name this wall room tag is very small so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to click on edit family so the first thing i'm going to do is just to make these room tags bigger so i'm going to click on this text i'm going to click on edit type so i'm going to change the font size of the text to about 2.2 and i'm going to click ok then now this is 2.2 i can just click on this area text i can click on it edit it and i'm going to change it to 1.5 and i'm going to click ok so now this is out of the way i'm just going to click on load into project i'm going to select the building i want to load into i'm going to click on ok do you want to save changes no and i'm just going to make sure i click override graphics in view so now this is bigger now so now i'm going to click on file i'm going to click on export under export i'm going to scroll down by just hovering around this down icon then i'm just going to click on this images and animation then i'm going to select image okay then i'm going to click on change to select the file location of where i want to export it to and i'm also going to give it a file name so i've already exported it before so i can just click on it to override the one i've exported before then i'm going to click on save and it's going to ask me you want to replace this file yes i'm going to make sure that my settings is just just look at the settings on the screen and follow it the zoom tool i'm going to make sure it's 100 this shaded view i'm going to make sure it's currently selected at png and the raster image quality at 600 then i'm just going to click ok and it's going to replace it all right so now this is out of the way we are going to start working on our rendered floor plan okay so we are going to go to this 3d view here if you go to this project browser you are going to go under coordination if you are using revit 2024 then you are going to see this 3d then i'm just going to right click and click on duplicate view duplicate with detailing so i'm just going to name this i'm going to now go over around right click again click on rename and i'm going to name this floor plan okay so now this is out of the way i made a mistake in the spelling but it's fine so i'm just going to click on it so this is currently our 3d floor plan view so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this using this 3d gizmo here and rotate it to an approach view so now we're going to go over to this properties panel and we're going to hover around to look for this section box and we're going to tick it on so once we've ticked this section box on you are going to see the section box will appear we're going to click on this section box and we're going to drag it down to about 1.2 of the ground floor plan just on Somewhere between the middle of the windows just above the door so we're also going to crop it to this point here we're also going to crop it up to this point from this left and right we are going to rotate this to the side view so we can crop it from the front and back crop it to this point and also crop it to this point all right so now we've cropped it we could just select this and we could right click and hide in view by elements so we're going to hide the scope box we're also going to hide these two levels we can select both of them right click hide in view by element we could also hide this scope box because it's distracting right click select both of them hide in view by element then we're just going to click on this top view and we're going to rotate it to this top view like this okay so now and as you can see this is our floor plan in 3d so what we're going to do now is we're going to hover around and go to this key this icon here that looks like a home then we're going to click on it and save and lock in view so now we have locked this in view if you click on this 3d gizmo now we cannot rotate this floor plan all right so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to work on some graphics work first of all we're going to click on this room separator lines we're going to right click hide in view by category we don't need them okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on vv that is invisibility graphics option we're going to scroll down and look for wall and we're just going to click on this wall pattern and we're going to change the wall pattern to solid fill black and we're going to make sure it's at black so we're going to override the color to pitch black and we're going to click ok so we're going to click ok we're also going to go to this line and we're going to change the the line width to six or let me just make it five so it to be consistent with that one. then i'm just going to click okay apply 
and I'm going to click OK. So now we have done with this thing. We are going to do is we are going to be going to graphics display option. That is shortcut GD. So currently we are going to click on this style and we are going to change it to realistic. Okay. We are going to also click on this smooth lines with anti aliasing um we're going to go to these shadows we're going to click on cast shadows show ambient shadows we're going to go to the lighting under the lighting we're just going to click on in light lighting session then we're going to change this from sun top to light right then we're going to change this as mute angle to 185 then we're just going to click apply and we're going to click ok then the next thing we're going to do is we're now going to go to the sun we're going to increase the sun intensity to about 90 increase the ambient light to about 20 reduce the shadows to about 10 then we're going to go to background we're going to put it as none then we're just going to click on apply and we're going to click wait for it to load and we're going to click ok so as you can see this is a realistic floor plan but we are not just there yet we are going to be rendering this so what we are going to do now is we are going to hover around this place and we are going to look at this show rendering dialog this thing that looks like a kettle and we are going to click on this icon then we are simply going to edit the parameters of this rendering we are going to change it from draft to high we are going to click on this printer and we are going to be changing it to 300 dpi okay so this might take some time but it's still fine or let me even make it much clearer 600 dpi then i'm just going to leave the sun setting as it is then i'm going to click on this background and i'm going to look for click on color then i'm going to change the color to white pure white then i'm going to click on ok so now i'm just going to click on render and we're going to get right back because sometimes this rendering is heavy and it takes time so let's just give it a wait all right so now the rendering is done what we're simply going to do is we're going to click on export and we're going to keep it somewhere let's just export it and save it in any folder i want to save then click on save then we're also going to click save into project for future reference and we're going to click ok so now this is out of the way we are done with this we are going to go back to this normal dpc and we're going to re-export it again because i wanted to add some things to it and edit modify some things so i'm just going to click save the project to make sure our project is safe so firstly i'm just going to hide these furnitures because i'm not going to need it for this particular export so i'm going to hide in view by category i'm going to do the same for this plumbing fixtures hide in view by category so i'm also going to do this for this kitchen i'm going to select this kitchen cabinet and kitchen gas cooker hide in view by element then i'm going to go to massing and site and i'm just going to be adding some trees so i'm going to be adding some site component like some site trees here yeah? so what i'm going to do i'm going to just go over around here i'm going to click on show crop region then once i click on show crop region i'm not going to expand this crop region here expand it here so more context of the site is going to be visible okay i think this should be enough so now this is done i'm just going to select these floors and i'm going to click on hide in view by element then i'm just going to go further by adding some of those site features i could just add some few trees here yeah? then i could even change the trees and add some smaller ones and just place them here okay so now we have done with this we are just going to select this floor hide in view by elements we are going to go back to this crop region and hide the crop region okay so now this is done we are now going to click on file again we are now going to click on export again we are going to scroll down then we are going to go to images we are going to export it as an image we are going to change the location and we are going to replace it with this one i think this was the one we exported before so we can go to our file explorer just to confirm so we are just going to go to where we located this okay so i think this floor plan one is the one we need to replace so i'm just going to click on it click save replace it and i'm going to click ok and i'm going to replace it so this is going to be so while we're waiting for this we're now going to open photoshop so we're going to open photoshop and we're going to do some small touches and we're going to overlap the two images in photoshop all right so now the photoshop interface is open let's just quickly create a new photoshop file so i'm going to click on new file okay so currently we, are, we currently have this landscape template already set before so what we're going to do is we're just going to replace this width with the height and this height with the width so i'm just going to change this to 297 instead of 420 and i'm going to change this height to 420 so it's going to turn to a portrait format then i'm going to click on create and our photoshop file is going to open so as you can see you can see how this is in portrait format and by me just changing those values so i'm just going to go to and open the file location of these two images so firstly i'm going to drag in the realistic one and i'm going to paste it so of course the realistic one is quite heavy because i rendered it in a high quality then once i've dragged it in i'm now going to click on finish okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this and i'm going to drag in this um unrealistic one that is the white hidden line one 
so once i've dragged it and i've placed it over this i'm just going to click on finish so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make sure this is selected under the layers you can see the realistic one under this layers tab here we can can see the hidden line one as well so what we're going to do once we select this hidden line one we're going to go over to this tab we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to change this to multiple okay so now this is a multiple what we're going to do is we're now going to edit the size we're going to hit ctrl t to help be able to edit it then we're just going to drag it and try and rescale it so we're just going to be trying and rescaling it till it matches the size of the main one okay so i think it's almost there almost there okay so now what we're going to do now we have rescaled it a bit we are now going to zoom in and we're going to try and adjust the position by moving it so let's just move it down and until the thing clicks in well okay i think this is very close i think this is really close so let's look at this other side it's still a bit too big so what i'm going to do now is instead of holding ctrl t and shrinking everything i'm not going to be shrinking as per the height and as per the width so i'm just going to go to this view i'm going to adjust this then i'm going to hold shift key so i'm just going to hold shift key and try and adjust it till it matches so i think it's good here i'm going to hold shift for this top one here and i'm just going to try and adjust it till it matches properly okay so i think this is pretty good finish so as you can see you can see how everything just aligned perfectly you can still see the realistic features with the text and you can still see the door swings and the annotative elements all right so this is looking very beautiful and now what we are going to do is we are going, going to click on file we are going to click on export we are going to click on export as then we are going to now export this as a jpeg file so now you can see this you can see how good it's looking you can see all the annotations with the shadows very beautiful so let's export this and let's just save it where we want to save it so now i'm now going to save this as floor plan main all right so let's open the final product and see what we've done so i'm just going to maximize it on our screen so you can see what we've done is looking very nice of course it's looking more realistic than the normal presentations plans i've showed you using revit and it's far more faster to achieve than the ones i've showed you in photoshop so this is like the combination of the both techniques adopting their best features okay so you can see you can use this for nice presentations this is very informative and illustrative beautiful stuff to do this is the end of the video if this video was helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe Subscribe to our channel for more content like this because we'll be bringing more good content for you to improve your architectural and engineering career. So with that out of the way, I'm going to wish you good luck to the next video. Thank you.